Shining the spotlight on Rano poaching, Frank and Fearless tells the story of an aging reprobate, a rural boy, a large dog and an orphaned baby rhino who set out to stop the rhino slaughter. Their quest takes them through hysterically funny situations as well as times of tragedy and they end up an inspiration and a con conscious to uh, the world in need of heroes. Now his cast includes Tim Banduli, Kanyin Bao and Kenneth Ngorsi who plays the role of Dolph, a terrifying ranger turned poacher. Hofmeyer and Ngorsi join us now to tell us more about Frank and Phyllis. Gentlemen, it's great to have you in the studio. Just looking at the visuals of, of that film, it's like, wow, he's done it again. Leon Schuster is back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Here's the cause here. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I was just listening to the interview that just before. And we had Alan here, and he's like, yeah, yeah, we used to rob banks. That guy doesn't look like a bank robber. <laughs> you don't look like an actor, can I you? Don't. <laughs> All right, like let's just man. quickly focus. Gary, I mean, you've Gray. worked with Leon, uh, Gray, Gray. pardon, you've worked with Leon on a number of mm -hmm. other, um, you know. Like nine movies. It's, it's incredible. And he was on a, about a four year break, and now he's back. What was that like, just reconnecting with him, um, going through what you guys have gone through over the past nine productions and um, coming to tell the story of uh, um, this, this poaching story that is one that is important and reflects a, a big part of what's happening in South Africa? Look, I mean, it's a comedy, first of all, you know, but um, we, we trod, a, we trod a, a difficult route or a risky route, combining a big, hard, just a comedy with a very serious issue like rhino poaching. And uh, I think we succeeded in that. Um, you know, there's a lot of emotion in this movie. There's a strong storyline, but there's also all this comedy. And they work very well together. We take the audience on a roller coaster ride between emotion and laughter. And I think it works, works very well. And we've got Kenneth playing the baddie yeah. in this film. Yeah. We've yeah. got yeah. Kanye Ba playing a game ranger. So we're really mixing all of this up, yeah. I can tell you. Yeah. Kenneth, I mean, you are a ranger turned poacher. Yeah. How did you sort of prepare yourself for this role? Because I don't imagine you being one to care about rhinos. <laughs> See, that's the thing about it, you know, because I, I don't really care about rhinos. No, I do. <laughs> now you do. It, 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 it is a big issue in South Africa, obviously. Uh, um, we talk about it all, all the time. People talk about it all the time. But the reality is preparing for the movie uh, for a role that I just played, I had this man here because um, I've worked with Gray for uh, the longest time uh, and um, he's one guy, I'll tell you about him briefly. I, I fired him when he was 22 years old, <laughs> Yeah, off Isidinga. Yeah. Yeah, so people are getting fired at the SAPC, don't worry, oh. I got fired too. <laughs> I got fired too by this guy when I did this deal some years ago. But it was very easy to work with them because I've already worked with Schuster and Leon with Mad Buddies. And preparing for a role like that is quite difficult for me because I don't play buddies. I'm a nice guy. People see me as a nice guy. You, you believe me, right? I, <laughs> no, no, you but I actually am a nice guy. And I had to play a, a, a very funny. Yeah. Listen to this. This guy, I've worked with him, I don't know how many productions. He, inter he, 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 he auditioned me almost five times. <laughs> you, you still auditioned? He auditioned yeah, yeah. me. We because he never believed that I could be a baddie. Well, we wanted him to be a baddie. And I knew he could play a baddie. But every time he got it wrong, and I said, man, he must be able to do this because I know this guy. So I brought him back in again. And so eventually, I mean, I knew he'd get there. I knew yeah. he would get there. Yeah. And, he, and playing a baddie for comedy is it, it, not easy. No, it's not. And he, it, it, and he it, it, pulled it off. Difficult. He pulled it it's off. It's very difficult. I just played a baddie in a different movie right now, right? It was very easy because there, there was no funny in it. Mm. So I had to just be a straight baddie. There you had to be a baddie and funny at the same time. How do you become a baddie and funny at the same time? Well, only Kenneth and Gossi could pull that off. <laughs> Oh, Let's talk about the rest of the cast um, that were involved. You mentioned the likes of Kanye Mao. Um, talk to us about just the people that, you know, are in this production and how you guys went about selecting who would maybe fit what role. Well, Temba is a, is a fabulous find, Yo. really. Yo. I mean, he's an amazing guy there. He played the kid. And, um, he's, he, All those he, years ago. Sorry? He played the kid. He, yeah. yeah he's, and he's 26, right? And he's this yes. big. He's yes. this yeah. high. Yeah. And, um, and he's, he, he's a really, really good actor. And he, in fact, he carries the movie. Yeah. 
And uh, Leon keeps saying to me, oh, he says, you know, I'm not the lead. Timber's the blooming lead in this thing, you yeah, know? Yeah, but you know that and Schuster is jealous all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a Leon Schuster's, but Timber is carrying it. But, but trust me, you know what, watching Timber, I must be honest, I promise you, with those emotional scenes, he gets to places that I don't understand. He's a Christian guy, yeah. and the guy who has a Bible and sits in his trailer with his Bible and reads. He, he reaches to some places where I didn't even think that he could. Yeah. He's amazing as an actor. Yeah, and he brought, he brought all the emotion. I mentioned emotion. He brings the emotion yeah. to this film. You, 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 you really sympathize with this little guy, and all he wants to do is he wants to save the rhino. And that's where a lot of the comedy comes in, is these guys set out on this totally impossible task mm. with the belief that they're gonna, gonna achieve it. And it goes all wrong, you know, as you can imagine. They try and can, uh, kidnap the Nambodian ambassador and hold him ransom until he stops the rhino trade. You know, it can only be a disaster. All right. But what they're searching for is a very serious quest, you know. So we combine these two things, I think, very beautifully. All right. I certainly can't wait to see it, gentlemen. Unfortunately, you know how it works on television. We're out of time. No, Thank he, you wants so to, much. he wants to talk more. <laughs> I just no, want to say, Kenneth. To the third of November, the film is out. That was the director of, uh, you know, the movie, <laughs> Gray ah, Hoffmeyer, and actor yes. Kenneth Ngozi, speaking to us about uh, the South African comedian Leon Schuster's film, titled Frank and Fearless. It is uh, open and will be on cinemas across the country on the 23rd of November 2018. Make sure you go see it. Time for a quick break.